All right, guys, welcome back to Bangkok. So this time I'm staying in a completely different place. So before I was staying on uh, right near Sukhumvit Road, which is like the main area, kind of like new Bangkok. So now we're, I've never stayed here before. We're on the other side of the river, the other side of the Chao Pai River. And it's a lot different. It's a lot more like local, kind of like old style Bangkok. So you can see it's really cool. It's just local, residential, normal area with the normal local Thai people living here and really small streets, not really many other foreigners. We're here with Echo, of course, pulling me the usual. So we're just gonna walk around a little bit. We're of course trying to go get food. Like 80% of the video is going to go get food and we're gonna go check it out and see Earlier this morning, I jogged this way. It's towards the 7-Eleven uh, on the morning jog. And there was a lot of street food. There's actually a little school over here with a, a bunch of kids that were outside and a temple too. And there was a bunch of street food out there before. So we're gonna go again and see if that's still there and maybe we can get some food. But it's really cool. You can see these narrow streets here and there's just motorbikes going by the local people these streets actually remind me a little bit of uh nepal like when i was in Kathmandu. um just like these narrow streets it's kind of like uh i don't know like an old old city type of vibe so especially at night we were walking here at night and it's crazy because you have all of these buildings you can imagine how many people live around here but at night i mean it was only like 9 p.m and it was already completely dead like the streets were dead so, and that's kind of reminded me of Kathmandu. I stayed right on the edge of Tamil, which is one of the really nice neighborhoods there. And it was the same thing around 9 p.m. at night already, like the streets were completely dead. So it's a cool local vibe. It doesn't feel like you're in Bangkok in a way almost compared to where I was staying before, which is so busy. So it's kind of nice. It's a little bit more like relaxing actually. So we'll see if any of the street food from before is still there. Now it's like uh, almost 4 p.m. So I'm not sure if they go into the evening or not. A lot of the street food stands seem like they stop around this time actually. So they're kind of there for like breakfast and lunch. And then by dinner time, I don't know, a lot of people don't really eat dinner at the street food stands or a lot of times there's different street food stands so like they'll come starting at this time and into the late evening so it's like they're coming for dinner to service the people's dinner demands but it's cool it's really local you'll see the school up here yeah it looks like a lot of those street food stands are still there so i'm sure echo is going to get a lot of attention and then there's a little shop right here wow there's a lot of kids we'll see what food and stuff we got here Last time I walked by, there was like some roadie, I think. Unless I'm wrong. This is like roadie, man. Uh, same. So, yeah, maybe we can get that after. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's like sweet. Do you like this one or no? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want it or no? For dessert, maybe? Uh, dessert? Maybe for dessert. It smells so good. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is like bubble tea, man. Oh, I've never seen it like that. It's like, uh, it looks like so like kind of homemade version of bubble tea with the bubbles just sitting right there. It's waiting to be added. But, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, that roadie smells so amazing. <laughs> Everyone's checking out Echo. But yeah, the roadie smells really good. We might have to get that for uh, like dessert. Honestly, surprisingly, the whole time I've been in Thailand here, like I've only had it like maybe once or twice, but it's sweet. It's like a dessert. I was confused at first because in India, roti is more like naan. I'm pretty sure it's not like a sweet dessert. It's more like a normal food. But yeah, this is uh, the temple, I think, in here. And then they're selling some stuff here. Oh, that stuff actually looks cool. Like there's some collectibles and stuff. Echo seems very interested. <laughs> He's pulling me towards it. Yeah, and then this is already towards the end of the street. When we get closer, you'll see, but it's interesting. She told me that it's kind of like uh, like Chinese Thai people, I guess. So 
because when we get closer and you can see better this archway here it kind of reminded me of like uh a lot of Chinatowns in different cities around the world have like an archway like that and the main area, the entrance to Chinatown. So it looks like almost the same. So I guess it makes sense. There must be some significance Chinese. All right. Oh yeah, over there we got Pad Thai, 40 baht. Let's see what else. Hey. Echo still gotta try to be on everything. Yeah, gotta look out and make sure you're not getting run over by the motorbikes like the one coming now. Or two. I knew I heard it. Yeah, see, this is so this is the archway I was talking about. Yeah, a lot of Chinatowns have like an archway like that on the entrance. But you can see this is Thai writing and everything, so it's kind of like. Makes like Chinese dogs. Which, uh, yeah, there's yeah, there's some restaurants. There's some stuff, but yeah, they come that way too. But a little bit. There's probably more on that street. So I don't know. What do you want? We can walk maybe like two minutes and then two minutes and see really quick. Oh, what do you think? No, not many things. Huh? No have. Yeah, we'll check it out really quick, but I know she's really hungry, so we'll see what we what we find. We got a little shop over here. Hey, just trying to pee on the tree. Alright, we'll let him. We'll let him go on the next tree. Do a little territory marking. Yeah, it looks like here there's mostly shops, maybe not so many restaurants. All right, Echo. Hey, wait, what's up? All right, there you go. Let, let Echo do his marking of the territory. First, he, oh, not marking this time. Wow, surprised. Really? Already ready? Okay. He just did a smell to see what other dogs have passed by recently. And then usually he pees on top, but he didn't this time. Maybe he's saving it for a different tree because maybe he didn't smell any pee from other dogs, so there's no need to cover it up this time. So, we'll see. We'll just walk like another minute or two this way and see if we find any, any food or anything. And then walk a minute or two the other way and see if we find anything. And then if not, we will go back to that street before that had the archway that looked like Chinatown. And we'll get some of the, a couple things there, maybe like one food uh, thing, and then maybe uh, roti or like a kind of dessert. Because I haven't had it enough. The other thing that's cool if you guys uh, stay in a place like this, if you guys come to visit Bangkok, is everything is so much cheaper because it's like a really really local place. So you can imagine like the same plate of food you can get like a big plate of thai food with like a lot of rice and chicken and meat and everything for like 50 baht for really like a full styrofoam container you know like you guys in the u.s like a big chinese food styrofoam container from like the mall food court or something like that big like a big one for like 50 baht which is like uh less than two dollars maybe a dollar 75 and it's like huge and that same one in like you know the new area of Bangkok, like Anud and everywhere near Sukhumvit. Oh, that's a cool little bookstore. That would cost you like uh, you know at least like a hundred baht. So it's probably like half the price because it's definitely not like foreigner price here because it's all local people. So all right, we might turn around soon. Let's see, karaoke. We got a motorbike coming down the sidewalk. Yeah, I think probably turn back. I, what do you think, turn back? I think there's not much more. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Pulling me so hard, almost knocked me over. Come on. All uh, right, this time he's marking. So he must have smelled a competitor. I wonder what they're working on in here. Looks like some sort of scrap scrap parts or something. 
Maybe they're repurposing into something new. Here we got something I'm going to show you there. Yeah, this is cool, uh, a little bookshop. I think it's books, right? Pretty sure. You don't even really see many bookshops anymore, so. Wow. Really pulled me to this tree again. Almost knocked me over. It must be a really important dog that peed here previously since he's so interested in the smell. Come on. Are we, we good? <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes it's so annoying, but I try to be patient with him. I know this is like his way of exploring too. He's got to explore too, so his favorite. Me is going to look around and see everything, try food. For him, his main exploration is smelling and peeing on trees, so got to let him do what he's got to do. Um, I think we didn't go far enough, but this morning when we jogged by, there was like a little pet shop or maybe it was like a grooming place or something. And the dogs were in the cages right in front of the window, so they went crazy both times when me and Echo jogged by and then back again. It was kind of funny. You my? You mod? <laughs> I'm dead soon. <laughs> you dead soon? Sorry? Wow. Uh oh. She says she's dead soon. <laughs> I at least just had a little bit of coffee before we uh, headed out. So I've got some coffee energy, some caffeine in me. Now we just gotta find food and not trip and fall over from Echo continuously pulling me towards almost every single successive tree that we go by. So. Alright, I think we're almost back to that street again, so we'll just go maybe like two minutes the other way and see if there's any food or anything. And then, if not, then we'll go back down the original street, which looked like it had quite a few things, including that roadie, which smelled like amazing, oh my god. It's like, here, watch out behind. It's like a little bit... Stupid. It's like a little bit like a pancake, uh, trying to think. Yeah, basically like with like a really thin pancake. And I don't remember, because I said I only had it like once or twice, I don't remember if they put some sauces on it or something. But even just the pancake part itself, when they're cooking it, like smells so good. It is funny though, because I'm pretty sure Indian like roti is like, because I remember, I think I had like onion or something roti and onion or potato or something and it's kind of similar to like a naan I'm pretty sure like it's like not like a dessert it's like a normal food like not dessert but here roti is always like dessert so and it's like sweet it's the same kind of shape and almost texture and stuff but it's just sweet as opposed to like not sweet and just normal bread type of deal so okay so there's the archway again it looks pretty cool maybe Maybe you have to take an Instagram, Instagram picture on the way back <laughs> with the archway. It looks kind of cool. Uh, we've got a little shop here. It looks like chicken. A lot of Thai writing. What do you think? Smell good. Smell good? What is it? Like pad, pad Thai and stuff or like all this stuff? It's like Pad Thai and stuff or all this stuff? Oh my god, so, so loud with the motorbike. It was like Pad Thai, or what was it? Yeah, have many, many, many different options. He said, oh. He's pulling me. Yeah, this is the 7 Seven Eleven I was at earlier. And then, yeah, now it goes pretty far this way, it looks like. So maybe we'll go back. What do you think? Should we go or this way or go back? Maybe go back. Because <laughs> you can see it goes really far, this wall here. I forgot, I think it's like a college or a university or whatever. And it goes really far until the next thing, so. No, not now, maybe later for dinner, you know. Now we can maybe go back, like either the Thai restaurant or maybe the street food, like the roti. 
What do you think? Maybe yeah. yeah, we can try. And then maybe the roti for dessert. Because I want to get the roti, honestly. I haven't, I barely had it much here. And then like, it's cool to try stuff in like a local area like this. Like there's, like I said, there's hardly any foreigners here. This one, or the next one, I forgot. What do you think? Oh, that one's Isan? Yeah. That's where she's from. So that's like uh, right on the border of Laos. So it's like the northeast part of Thailand. And a lot of the people actually speak Laos there because it's so close to the border. <laughs> Everyone loves Echo. I, I, what do you order? <laughs> uh, what? It's, you say it's closed? Oh, don't have rice. Uh, so it's like it usually closed this time, or it's because they finished rice. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, that's bad luck. I guess they don't usually close at this time, but they're completely sold out of the rice. So rice is such a staple in all of the Thai dishes. I guess you can't really make them without the rice. So probably head back down this street. This street had a lot though. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we can try this one. Alright, we just finished a little photo shoot with the archway there. Trying to not get run over with all the cars passing. Alright, we're back. Back to the vlog. So what do you want? Do you like this place or no? Yeah, I like What did they have? What is it? Uh, pork and beef. Pork and beef. Yeah, but like, uh, what dishes? Like pad thai or like uh, curries or something? Or? Oh, really? Yeah, let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was just gonna do the same thing, put in the translate. Let's see. Gotta select the right language. All right, we got noodles, meatballs, pork beef, noodles, meatballs, noodles, meatballs, Korean meatballs. That sounds interesting. And then the two sizes must be small and large. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Which one do you think is like best? Oh, those are the meatballs. Korean. So everything has meatballs. It looks like. Maybe I'll try the Korean. I don't know. Just to mix it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, every single one has meatballs. But maybe that one towards the middle, Korean, it seems like the most different one, I guess, because it's Korean. Maybe this one. Yeah. Look, look. This one, it says Korean. What do you think? You get that one? I don't know. Honestly, even with the translation, it doesn't really help that much. I just know it includes noodles and meatballs, but I kind of already knew that, anyways. Ball? Uh, beef. Beef. Yeah. Let's go with the beef. I like beef. Yeah, small is okay, I guess. Yeah, just because it's like not dinner yet. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is almost like kind of breakfast for me still, even though it's like nearly dinner time. Yeah, or this one, the one below, Korean. No, I have. Or what? Oh, you think it's not good? <laughs> what? Do you think the other one's better, I mean? Uh, I don't know, you can order me whatever, as long as it's beef, it's fine. So yeah, we'll see what we get. Yeah, because usually I, uh, in the morning I like go for a jog with Echo and, uh, like exercise, shower, read and stuff, so I don't eat breakfast until basically after most of my morning routine. So a lot of times I don't eat breakfast until like at least lunch time. But yeah, so all of these, so it's like, you know, about 35 baht to a dollar or so. So this is like about $2. I think this just means like the larger size. And then these are like, you know, about a little bit over a dollar, dollar 50, 75 or something, almost $2. So we'll see what we got. I can see the rice in there. 
and these meat these are the meatballs and then these are the noodles they're kind of like ramen actually you can see they're in the squares it's actually like in the packs of ramen it's the same so let's see if we can watch what's going on we're gonna cook it up here got some different spices this looks good the sauce oh this is your favorite look the, the chili flakes <laughs> She loves the chili flakes. They're so spicy. You can see them in there. All right. Let's see. Get down to business here. Echo sniffing around. Also, he knows something about food is about to happen. All right. I think those are the meatballs going in there, maybe. Yeah, wait, I'll switch the view so you guys can see a little closer. All right, there we go. Now we got a nice up close view. Yeah, I think those, I don't know, that's beef. I think maybe that's the beef. All right, so she's putting it in the container. I wonder if it's to season it and everything probably put the sauces and everything in there and then maybe mix it up let's see yeah that must be where they keep the meat in the refrigerated cooler there looks like we've got some chives or something and the oh i wonder if those are the things that are in like pad thai also but i forgot what they're called it's kind of interesting how there's like three different sections to the the way they cook there so maybe the, that one seems like it's for the meat, maybe this one for the vegetables, and then I'm not sure about the third one, maybe like fish or something. You hungry? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Wow, so pretty quick, just like maybe 30 seconds, maybe kind of similar to like steaming it, a little bit of maybe salt or sugar. This one, I'm not sure, but I love the sauces. Whenever they put sauces, it's really good. All the Thai sauces are so flavorful. Yeah, he's smelling every little nook and cranny. <laughs> he knows that there's a lot of food around here. Hungry? Thai? Oh my god, my shirt is all full of so much hair from picking, <laughs> picking him up to take some Instagram pictures under that archway. It's just like literally covered. And a black shirt. <laughs> you can see the hair even more. Oh my God. All right, let's see. It looks really good. Looks like a nice little mix of everything. Got the veggies in there and the meat over there. And then these are gonna be the meatballs, I think. It's a nice mix of a bunch of different ingredients. And then I think out here we can choose if we want to put the chili flakes on and make it more spicy. And then I have a feeling this is sugar. And she might have to tell me what this one is, I'm not sure. Oh, that looks good with the soup too. So I guess it also kind of doubles as soup in there. Cook it in there and put soup in there. So it's mine or yours? Mine? You or me? Me? Oh, it looks good. Yeah, so this was the chives. Echo, hi. Relax. Yeah, so this was the chives in there. I think. I think it's chives. Gonna get the camera lens steamed up for getting too close. And then, yeah, this must be the beef. Oops. Right here. And then those are the meatballs. I think they're pork. Yeah, that is the stuff. If you guys have had pad thai before, this, these white things, I don't know what it's called, honestly, but those things are always in pad thai. I, have no, I still don't know. <laughs> I've eaten pad thai so many times, and I still don't even know what they're called. But. <laughs> All right. Let's give it a try. Yeah, we've got the different... Yeah, so this is the chili flakes again. And then I think that's sugar, right? Sugar. And then this one... Um, oh, it's like sour. Lemon? I don't know. Um, maybe. 
Yeah, I think it, it might be kind of like sour a little bit. I'm not sure. Like, they have one kind of like that. I remember in Chinatown. That's like fish sauce, man. Sauce. Yeah, like sauce, like pad ka pao, chai. Sauce, sauce for pad ka pao, chai. For everything. For everything, yeah. All right, we'll switch back to the other view again. All right. Let's give it a try now. it up a bit we can do a little bit just not too much all right so the chili flakes i do maybe this much um, that's actually already kind of a lot i like spicy but not too much and also a lot of times you don't have tissues when you order street food in thailand so it makes my nose run so much and then i don't have anything to blow my nose all right and then yeah i'll do a little bit of sugar also Screw it, we'll just do a little bit of everything. Because I love the sauces, honestly. It's almost always really good, so. Uh, oh, wow. They have tissues. Oh my god. VIP. <laughs> I'm not positive. I thought it was like the fish sauce that they put in Pargapao. It still might be. It smells a little bit different, but... Oh, and we got water too. Oh, yeah. Closing. She wants to go for... Baby, because she's now. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, so she needs to pay now because I think she's picking her kid up from uh, sc the school that we just walked by actually. So, okay, this, and here, let me see if I... Yeah, I gotta check. shops have the prices like so specific so it'll be like the milk is like 27 baht 0.25 and it's just like I wish they would just make it 27 or 28 like it's difficult to carry around those little ones I almost never have them there's just not very common in the currency all right so now we got all the different flavors and everything I'm gonna have a quick sip of water Oh. Oh. oh my god, yeah, look how many chili flakes she put. Like, you guys can't see that much because it's not zoomed in on this view, but there's a lot. Like, it's like a mound. Look at that. A lot, a lot. <laughs> she always does this, and then afterwards, she's gonna be dying actually. She's gonna be like, her nose is gonna be running so much. Alright. Wow. Let us take. behind the scenes of the, the old Instagram. Echo. Alright. Alright, we got that saved. Alright, now it's really time to eat. Alright. Do a little mixing first. Yeah, even I put a lot of chili flakes, more than I kind of planned. And it's still nothing compared to how much she put. Oh my god. And the sugar. <laughs> There's a mound of sugar there too. Wow. Okay, here we go. First bite. Mm 
Yeah, it's good. Maybe I didn't put too much. It's like pretty good proportion. Like not too spicy. I also taste the sugar. I get a meatball. Pretty good. We want a little echo over here. You ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Look at that. I think you caught it right there. Yeah. Oh, pretty good cut. Let's go for some more of the beef. Yeah, if any of you guys know what the name of these white things are, you can tell me because I'm just curious at this point. I mean, I love Pad Thai and I eat Pad Thai so much, and that's one of like the main things in Pad Thai. It's always in there, and I've eaten it so much that I don't really know the name. Oh, yeah, that's why I need the tissues too, the napkins, because. Especially when it's spicy, but even when it's not spicy, every time I eat something hot, like soup or something, it kind of like clears out my sinuses, so... So it makes my nose start running. We've got Echo trying to shove his head in down here. Like, hey, don't forget about me. We'll give him another meatball in a second. Mmm. Wow, the soup is really good. That was the first time I took a spoon of just straight soup. Because obviously the meat, the soup kind of runs off so you don't get that much of it. But just the straight up soup, oh my God. So flavorful. I think I did good too. Honestly, really good. The proportions of like chili flakes and sugar I did in there, it's like perfect for me. Not too spicy. Also taste the sugar. And I think I was right that that one was like some sort of a sour thing. Because I remember it from like the soup that we have in like Chinatown, Yarawat. So it's cool because if you think about it, you got like almost all the major, uh, what's it called? Like, if you guys ever studied it, the, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> He's like shoving his head in. But the ways you taste on your tongue, it's like, there's only like four or five different tastes that you actually have, believe it or not. And every taste is just a combination of those. So I think it's like sweet, AKA like sugar, and then spicy, and then sour, and then bitter. And I don't remember if there's another one or not. I remember learning about it, and each part of your tongue actually specializes in tasting those different parts. So I don't remember if the tip is like sour, you know, and the sides are spicy, and the middle is like bitter, something like that, you know? It's all like evolutionary, like there's reasons for it, obviously. Like bitter, I'm pretty sure usually meant it's not good for you. Like it could be poisonous and don't eat it. So that's why bitter tastes bad. That's why we think of bitter as tasting bad. And then sweet means there's a lot of energy, like calories in it for when food was hard to find. So that's why it tastes so good is because you load up on it. And that helps you survive for when you don't find food again. So how is yours? Is it really spicy? No. No? No, I put soup. Oh my god, if you guys can see, even the color of her soup is like so red compared to mine, it's much more clear. All because like that, she put so many chili flakes. I'm pretty sure it started off as the same soup. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it is really good though. I will right, give poor old Echo another meatball. Here, come here. This side. Here we go. Ready? And aim. Ready? Fire. Oh, wow. What a good catch. Alright. Alright, aim, ready. <laughs> That's really good though. The soup is so good, oh my god. Like I said, it's like, this is perfect for me. You got the, all the different four flavors I was talking about, except bitter, which is good obviously like sweet with the sugar, spicy with the chili flakes, <laughs> sour with the one, you know and maybe also sour with the one. Name of what, the food or the sauces? No. <laughs> Gao Lao. Uh, Name Gao Lao, no have Gao Lao? Oh, it's different? Yeah, it's a, you have only... Oh, no have the noodles. It's, a, it's name oh, I see. Same. Oh, I remember that name. 
So yeah, so she's got the noodles in hers, and I got these things that I forgot what it's called. Is the soup the same though? Yeah, soup's there. Okay, so yeah, the soup was the same when I said it's turned so yeah. red because Plan of hot chili flakes. What? Different. Yeah, just the yeah, just the noodles are different. Okay, let me. Oh my god, I need another. Thank God we got the tissues. I need another. My nose is running again. It's so good to have so the spicy. tissues. Not too much. It's just also because it's so hot, it like clears my sinuses and makes my nose run. Okay, let me check. Er, oh well, I guess if the only thing that's different is the noodles. Then it doesn't even really matter if I try. Honestly, I've had noodles before. But yeah, it's really good. Echo, he was like shoving his head in on my side. Like, hey, don't forget about me. Right. I'll give him most of the meatballs, I guess, and I'll stick to the beef. Yeah, it's a very good mix of flavors. It's like perfect for me. Not too spicy, not too sweet, not too sour, just perfect proportions of everything. And the soup itself, oh my god, is actually phenomenal. Alright, we will do another meatball for the boy. The good boy. Oh! <laughs> Alright, you just got the one little leaf thing, but hey, the important part is here. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, good boy. What an athlete. Athlete for food. I think she's filming TikToks over <laughs> here or something. <laughs> she's doing an ASMR. Uh, or what's it called? I forgot. I when the people watch each other eat or whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. They make the whole YouTube videos just watching each other eat something or even watching a dog eat and they like the ASMR sounds and everything. Oh, muk mukbang or something. Mukbang, mukbang or something. She's doing that. <laughs> oh. So intense. <laughs> She's currently contemplating her decisions with the spiciness. <laughs> Every time she acts real cool, like, oh, it'll never be too spicy for me. And then flash forward five minutes and she's like, oh, I'm dying. Sabai mai? Sabai di mai? She's dying. This is my sabai. Sabai mai. Alright, so we just finished that tasty food. And now uh, I found like a lotus nearby, which is like a groceries. So we can get Echo some uh, more dog food because he ran out. But first I want to go check to see if this roadie up here is still open. Because it sounds like it's right in front of that school. So it kind of makes sense that once the school is closed for the day, those food stands in front usually close too. So we're going to try go grab that first. And then after we'll go try to find that dog food because I don't want to miss out on the roadie. But yeah, this temple area looks really beautiful with this big uh, arch right here. And then the temple inside. I'm not sure if it's the whole area or just this area right there, but... Alright, uh, let us see. Yeah, these are, you can see the students there. These are the food stands right in front of the school. This is a school over here. So yeah, looks like those are those regular meat sticks. And these, <laughs> these are like some eggs and stuff. So we'll see, I think the roadies were, the one with the umbrella, I think. This one is like the bubble tea, which looks interesting. It's like, kind of like homemade, really homemade style. Like you can see the bubbles right there. All right. 
Okay, here's the school over here. All the students. We got lots of kids all over. <laughs> he just yelled Falang. <laughs> it means like a uh, foreigner. My Falang, Kontai. I said I'm not foreigner, I'm Thai. Kontai. <laughs> Alright. Kontai, summer? <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, yeah, it smells so good. Yeah, so it looks like it's like the little like mini pancake kind of thing. Oh, that's interesting that he put that one. That's like almost similar to soy sauce, which you wouldn't really think of for a dessert. And then the thing in the middle, I'm not sure if this one is egg on top. And then this one looks like something sweet, I'm guessing. The green one in there, you can see it's two flavors, the green and the yellow. Maybe it's some sort of like a frosting type of thing. Here, we'll do the zoomed in version here again so you guys can see the details of him preparing it. Yeah, what, this one is egg or what? Alright, uh, yeah, she said, do you want sweet? So it sounds like one is sweet and one is not. Yeah, I want sweet. Yeah. Okay, the green, the green, right? I think so, yeah. Alright, let's get the sweet one. Yeah, I want the sweet, because we just ate, so I was thinking of it like a dessert. So I guess it can be sweet or not sweet. It's bulk and... Hello. It's one, ten baht. You want sweet? You want to? It's up to you, but uh, I want the sweet one. Okay. Like you can get the other one, or we can share and stuff. But I want the sweet for sure. That's what I wanted to try is the sweet one. Yeah, you can see the in here. We got the. I'm not sure. Maybe it's kind of like frosting. I wonder. And they roll it up like that. Two. Oh, what is it? Two for fifty. Oh, uh, maybe it's like two. Yeah, so the sweet one is five, and then, I don't know, the other one's ten. So the one that's ten, maybe it's two for fifteen and three for twenty, but then there's no bulk discount on that one, I guess, because it's already only five baht. Yeah, there's so many people around. They're all kind of checking it out, what's going on. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> all right. All right, let's see. Getting it all cleared off to cook ours. So that's the batter, I guess. Probably a little bit similar to like pancake batter. They're ordering from the motorbike, maybe. <laughs> Finished egg? Uh, no problem with me. I wanted the sweet one, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> <My father? laughs> yeah, I want like the, the sweet, yeah, sweet filling, this one. I want the sweet one. And then you can get what you want. So maybe like, maybe like, maybe like two. Maybe, maybe like maybe like two for me for the sweet one for me too song <laughs> song for me song song is two yeah, you can see it's like a kind of a tight street <laughs> we're right on the edge here and the car is still gotta go by Got the batter coming up. <laughs> it's okay because we're lucky. It's, it's the one that I wanted anyway. <laughs> so good luck. Yeah, it's crazy. These last few days, it's been uh, cloudy, and it's like I haven't seen it cloudy at all in Bangkok for like a long time, like months and months. It's been sunny, clear skies every day. So I wonder if the rainy season is coming again soon or what. So, all right, we got the pancakes. I mean, pancake looking things, technically roadies out. And maybe, I'm not sure if that's like butter on top or exactly what it is. And then it looks like maybe peanuts, I don't know. It's like peanuts, right? <laughs> and a little bit of that soy sauce stuff. Should be interesting. 
interesting. Oh, and that's the good stuff. I have a feeling it's probably kind of like frosting. It, lo it looks like it from the texture. And you can even hear when he scrapes it out, it sounds like a little bit of that scraping sound that you have with frosting because of the sugar, I think, inside. But yeah, it looks really good. You can see it's sizzling on there. The, whatever it is, butter maybe. <laughs> All the kids are checking out. Echo. <laughs> I heard one of them yell something Siberian. He's looking at them too. She's taking her stories. I wonder if I can get. Let's see if I'm quick enough to get a story at the same time. multitasking here stories and vlogging at the same time and I'm gonna have to get out my cash and pay here uh, yeah, can you hold it? how much is it? Um, 20 baht in Thailand how much? <laughs> 20 20? yeah yeah we can maybe just stand here and try because then afterwards we gotta go back the other way to get the food for echo so um, all right let's see Oh, it looks good. Hey, give me the sweet one. Sweet. I think it's going to be still so hot, man. Nice. Hot? Hot? Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, so the texture of this is like harder than I thought, you know. I thought it was going to be more soft, but it must be after he grills it. It's almost like a little bit crunchy. You can probably hear over the kids yelling maybe. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, it's really crunchy. But, oh, my God, it's so good. Again, it reminds me of something. <laughs> oh. <Saudi>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it reminds me of something. Oh my god. I can't remember. The taste of just the shell itself reminds me of something. But we still haven't gotten done to the frosting stuff yet. So we gotta work our way down. Right. Oh, this bite we got it. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Which one did you try? You tried the sweet one or the other one? What is it, like pork or beef or something? Both. Pork? Yeah. Really? No, it's okay. I don't want to mix... I don't want to mix the flavors. It's like... Echo. <laughs> I think Echo's looking for food dropped on the ground. Um, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's really good though. Pretty good. It's okay. It's good. The food? Yeah, no, no. Okay. He actually, he's like usually more... <laughs> He's usually more excited for kids because they're like his size, but he's still really friendly. Um, pit cells. I don't know if you guys know what this is. <laughs> I haven't even had one in probably like 10 years. I just remembered my great uncle, kind of like my grandfather's uh, brother. He used to make pit cells from us a lot when he would visit. For me, he would always make a little batch and they're kind of like in the shape of a circle but with this texture on it it's almost like a snowflake type of deal so watch out just in case watch out just in case for this but uh yeah and it's like it's got the same flavor so i bet it must be similar to the shell of these rotis like the similar ingredients kind of because it tastes a lot like it i think it's kind of like an italian dessert maybe this it's called pizzelles I haven't even thought about it in so many years, I can't believe I remembered it, so I don't even know how to spell it. Maybe like P-I-T-Z-E-L-L-E -L -L -E or something, but it's it tastes exactly like that, I just remembered. I'm surprised I remembered, because I haven't had those in years and years. Get the paw. Paw. <laughs> He's like standing up all the way on his hind legs. Oh. <laughs> 
That was bad. Oh, bad this time. Bad reaction time. Can get both? I don't know. Yeah, can I think so? I don't know. Probably need no other thing. I don't know if you will like it, but it depends what it is. But it's kind of like spicy chips or something like that, kind of like Cheetos or something. Oh my god, this stuff is really good though. Oh. I'm glad I got two. <laughs> Almost. How are you, man? Mark. No meat in that for you. Mine is aloe too. Did you try the sweet one? Good job. Good job. <laughs> oh. No, it was good too. <laughs> My phone, contact. <laughs> contact. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> you are too big. <laughs> He thinks he can jump up like on you, but <laughs> he'll probably knock her over. Echo's getting a lot of attention now. Let's see, we might have to move back a little for the car. But, uh, oh, perfect. We got number two of the sweet one. You can't have this one though, because it's too sweet. Dogs can't have like sugar really. Well, I am satisfied. Oh my god, I feel jumping at me. What, Isan food? Yeah. yeah, she said over there is Isan food, I guess, at that little stand. I can't even see what it is. But yeah, I'm definitely satisfied with the rotis. I'm glad I got it, honestly. It's like, hits the spot for a little sweet. I don't have sweets or desserts that often, but... And then, after this, we're gonna try to scope out that Lotus. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. Cause it's like a 10 minute walk, I think. Are you want to try this one or no? I'm sorry. I swear. You done? Oh no. I'm not like sweet. Really? Yeah. I'm not like sweet, only with coffee and bagel. Alright. But I want to try. I want to try Psycho Isan. Try it? What is it? <laughs> Psycho Isan. Same name. It's like a... Are you still hungry? <laughs> Chai? Yes. I don't know, can you get... Chai small. I'm not... Oh, I can get small. Because I'm honestly not really... I'm pretty full. Like, I'm good for now. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's see what it is. I'm not sure what it is. She said it's Isan food, if you guys remember. I said, like, Isan is like a region of Thailand in the northeast. So it's... All the way right on the border of Laos, so a lot of the people in Isan speak Lao actually. Oh, I, I know this one. You will try before. I don't remember if I tried, but I think I always see it. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like the meatballs, man. It's pork, mu, man, mu. Yeah, so it's like pork balls. I don't remember if I tried it, but I've seen it a lot, honestly, at a lot of different street vendors. See, I always joke, this is like the original drive-through. <laughs> <laughs> Just drive through on the motorbike. Uh, Twenty baht. Yeah. So, you know now. So, contai. Contai ninnoe. Alright. Yeah, she's taking the vlogs too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like this is the raw ones up here, and then he cooks it there, and then when they're finished, he puts them here. And then you'll see in a second, it looks like over this circle here, he puts a bag underneath and then cuts each one one by one. Yeah, see, like that. He cuts each one, so you've got all the different little balls. And then he puts a little lettuce, I think. And then this one is actually ginger. I wasn't sure, but she typed it to me in translate, and it's actually ginger. And then the chilies, of course. So I think there's lettuce on the bottom and then chilies and then ginger and then pork so it's kind of an interesting combo because you wouldn't think i don't know i wouldn't think to put ginger i've seen it a lot where they kind of have like the meatballs and then they have like lettuce on the side and sometimes basil and sometimes mint leaves and it's good like it's kind of like you just put like one piece of meat in your mouth and then one piece of the leaves like the mint and basil and stuff and just mix it while you're chewing it and it tastes really good 
But honestly, I wouldn't have really thought about to like add ginger to that mix. So that's pretty interesting. But yeah, you can see all of them here. I think those are the uncooked ones. <laughs> I say hello. Saudi <laughs> cup. It's more fun, honestly. Uh, to be honest, it's more fun vlogging in areas like this because it is like much less foreigners, so it's, the people get more excited to see you. So it's kind of fun interacting and everything, and uh, obviously for you guys to watch that. Because when you're in the main areas of Bangkok, like there's so many foreigners all over the place that they're like really used to seeing foreigners, so it's not really that exciting. But here they're kind of like you know, it's pretty excited to see it. So it's it's pretty cool. It's more fun. <laughs> uh, it's doing good. <laughs> all right. You see, Batman? So. Uh, 20 baht. So it's like, uh, oh, it looks like he's getting them all ready for the next orders to go. Yeah, you see baht, 20 baht, so it's like uh, 75 cents, more or less. So. Yeah. He's so confused every time. When the vendors are like walking down the street and they do that, I think to tell everybody that they're coming so that the customers come. And he always looks because it makes the same squeaky sound, you know, as like a dog toy. So he's like looking around like, what is that? <laughs> what? And you can say it. Uh, happy? Happy. Happy, man. <laughs> cup on cup. Alright. Alright, we could probably eat this on the way and then we'll go to the Lotus. I have to look, I forgot which way it is. I think it's like 10 minutes walk. We'll go to Lotus and get echo a little bit of the dog food. It's funny because in the 7 Eleven near my other place, which is in kind of like the newer part or whatever of Bangkok. Yeah, I think I've had it like a couple of times. But yeah, near my other place in the newer part of Bangkok, it was actually in Anut. The 7-Eleven there was also much bigger. It happened to be some of the 7-Elevens here are like much bigger than others. So they have more stuff, more product. But they had a lot of dog food and dog treats and cat stuff and everything. Uh, <laughs> they have a little one there. But the one here I noticed, partially probably because it's smaller, obviously. But I was thinking also maybe because it's more local Thai people here and less foreigners. So there's like no uh, dog stuff at all. Like no dog food. No dog treats or anything. I was thinking maybe part of it too is because a lot of local people in most of Asia and like a lot of places around the whole world honestly. Don't really feed their dogs dog food honestly. They usually feed them a lot, just kind of like scraps and stuff and like meat and leftovers, kind of like most people always used to do for most of history. Or the other thing is a lot of them are like street dogs and kind of just eat what they find anyways. So we're going to go to Lotus though, because the last couple of days I was kind of supplementing, like giving him uh, like some rice and chicken and stuff. But I think for too long, his stomach might get upset because it's kind of hard to find that type of food that has no seasonings or flavors which would be good for his stomach because obviously most people like to have flavor so i think we'll try to get him some more dog food again what he keeps he keeps looking at me thinking i have food but i don't have it he doesn't realize she's the one with the food all right Huh? No, Lotus. Yeah, this way. Uh, my, it's like small Lotus Go Fresh. You know, Lotus Go Fresh. Yeah, there's like two. Like there's like Lotus is one of the main grocery stores. Lotus and Tops. It's like a regular grocery store. You know, kind of like Tops in the U.S. or Wegmans or Walmart or whatever. Costco. And then this one is called like Lotus. Go Fresh, which it's just like the mini version kind of, so 
what I saw in the pictures, it's still bigger, a lot bigger than your average 7-Eleven. So I definitely think they'll have some sort of dog food there. So we gotta walk about eight minutes, maybe like six or seven now this way, and then we're gonna have to cross over too. So that'll be interesting. This is one of those roads I don't think you really cross in the middle because it has the divider. There's some open areas, but usually these roads, they have like uh, the thing that goes up. I forgot what it's called. Kind of like a pedestrian bridge. Oh. I go still stopping. Back to stopping everywhere, sniffing everything and marking. There we go. It just marked more territory. <laughs> yeah, and then up here, you can see it going by occasionally. It's like the MRT which is similar to the BTS. Basically, they're both kind of like the subway, but above ground subway, kind of like a railway, whatever it's called, whatever you want to call it, SkyTrain or something like that. Wow, even got a weed shop here, it's crazy. <laughs> got a barber. Oh, we can cough? Maybe. Maybe cross here then. Yeah, it's over on the other side though. So we have to cross. So maybe cross here. Yeah, cross. I thought that we had to cross at one of those skywalks, but I guess I see the crosswalk symbol here, so I guess we can cross here. Not that it's going to be easy, but <laughs> technically a lot, I guess. I uh, will see when we can, when we can time it out. Alright, right, that's good. We had a pretty good space there, now we gotta do the other way. So people drive fast. Don't be Yeah, she said Thai people drive really fast. But yeah, I think it's a lot of places. Couple, couple. Okay, we got one person. Now we gotta see. Okay. Alright, we made it. Alright. Now I think we have another. Oh, I've heard that chicken place is good actually. It's just a tiny little stand behind called Five Star Chicken. And it's at a lot of... Uh, oh, that's a nice car. But yeah, it's at a lot of uh, BTS stations. But I've heard that place is good Five Star Chicken. So, alright, we made it across the street. It's cool walking in areas like this. Like I said, it's much more local, regular Thai people. If you want to get the real experience, you know how like most Thai people live. It's it's not it's not on, in like the foreigner areas. Obviously, those places are a lot more like built up and fancy, and they're cool in their own way. But I mean, a lot of it is similar to places in the West if that's where you're from. So it's not gonna feel that much different. Versus this stuff is like stuff that's not as much in the West, so you can experience the real the real deal. Got, like a car car shop over here all uh, right should be just another minute or two all uh, right this is the street we just got a cross all uh, right and then it looks like it's down this small street which is interesting because it looks kind of small to have a full-on mini full-on grocery store but apparently it is and interestingly, it's still got a Tesla Model X cruising down the back streets of Bangkok. Alright. Got a lot of different shops. A lot of cell phone shops, it looks like, on this street. Oh, uh, yeah, we can see we're on a super. Local street. <laughs> it looks exactly the same breed almost as the other one that we just passed. Alright, uh, yeah, it's kind of a little bit chaotic on the street. Got a motorbike crossing. And we're gonna have to cross in a second. Okay. There we go. There we go. We made it. Lotus. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought. This is about the same size as the big 7 Eleven I was talking about before. So. We'll see if they have any pet stuff, but maybe they have some sort of it. All uh, right, here we'll go, maybe over here, I can tie Echo, or you can hold him if you think you're strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, they're all posted up outside, waiting. So we'll see if they have dog food in here of some sort. It's a lot smaller than I thought, though. Like I said, this is like basically almost the same exact size as a big 7-Eleven. Wow, they got a lot of different raw meats, though. That's cool. Because that's something you can get in 7-Eleven and everything. Fish. Okay, let's see. What is this? Oh, okay, that's good. There we go. We got the pet stuff. So, cat stuff. And then, yeah, it looks like this here. So, let's see. We got this one. All right, we got some options at least. All right, so we got one going with the beef and milk flavor. So hopefully he likes it. I only remember giving him milk like one time. All right, mission accomplished with that. Toss the receipt in there. And then I'll throw this in my backpack here so we don't have to carry it back. All right, look what we got. Look. Oh. oh. Beef and milk flavor. What do you think? Uh, you like? Oh, I have. Oh, got the food. Yeah, beef. All right, we'll try it. Yeah, we'll try it when we get back. Oh, he wants the food now though. He doesn't care to wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll put this in my bag. Be on the look. Do you see any falong? <laughs> my. Oh. There's literally no, no corners on this entire street, and everybody's looking at us. <laughs> So that's how you know you went to a local spot when they look at you if you're a foreigner because they don't see a lot. We know from Thailand. We Philippines. Alright guys, so if you go to the more common areas that foreigners go in Bangkok, you can tell if people look at you a lot or not. They probably won't look at you that much on Sukhumvi because there's foreigners all over you'll see. So it's cool to go where there's less foreigners and you get a more authentic experience, which is the main reason that I wanted to travel anyway, so. He's still trying to use his charm and cuteness to get more food. <laughs> All right. All right, it is, what is it, 5.30. So it's starting to get a little bit dark now anyway, so we'll probably head back and I think I'm gonna head back and give Echo some of his food. Since the last couple days, he hasn't really eaten super. <laughs> I don't know what's Echo. The last couple days, though, he hasn't really eaten like as much as usual, probably because I've just been giving him like random stuff, kind of like rice and chicken from 7-Eleven and stuff, because I had just changed places, so I didn't uh, buy his food yet. Because usually I buy like at least one and a half kilos or usually even three kilos at a time and it's kind of difficult when you're changing places with that amount because it's like a huge extra bag with you and I try to be as efficient as I can usually I just have a backpack duffel bag and one suitcase oh my god he's like pulling me over what all just the Marcus territory almost smashed me into the wall but yeah, all the people, <laughs> every single person we go by on a motorbike is like absolutely staring at us. So, it's fun. That's how you know you're in the right place. Sticking out like a sore thumb too when you're walking around like filming like this with the camera holding it out in front of you. Alright. Well, I think that's a wrap though. Now you guys got to see this video is a little bit different than some of them I went to. Uh, some of the places you've seen were more like local markets markets and stuff, but a lot of the places, even a lot of the markets were more popularized. And it's more popular, fancier places kind of. So now you guys in this video got to see something a little bit different, a little bit more unique and authentic just right on the streets in a local area where there's not a lot of foreigners so all right catch you guys next time bye bye, -bye.